No, no. Yeah, you weren't ready. Por favor. Si es que That's a nice one. And she's recording herself. She's actually recording. She pressed the button. Ladies and gentlemen, she's not supposed to be in the meeting. Oh my god. Get out. Hey, what's up, people of ours? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fairy, and today I have my friend Fatima here. Hi, guys. So today we're gonna. T oh, yes, today we're gonna talk about. Uh, let me explain it better. I have a cup <laughs> full of words in here, so we're gonna pick up a word, whichever word we have. We're gonna talk about the word, what it means to us, or like if we have an exper an experience with the word. So we're just gonna tell a story. So this is the first episode of. What is your story? Din din din. <laughs> okay, you can start. Okay, so I'm gonna say the word to you and you tell me what okay. to you. Okay, the first word is success. Oh, my definition of success is happiness. So when if I am happy and if I have the things that I require, I ask of myself, then I think I'm successful. Instead of the traditional definition of, of, of success, which is like when you have a lot of money. Your turn. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Loved. Loved for me is when you give someone everything that you think they might need. Like for example, <laughs> my cats, I feed them. I change their litter. I let them sleep with me. I love them. I think they know that they're loved and I believe it's reciprocal. I don't think that made any sense. You sound like a cat lady. Oh, I am. But <laughs> you're married. Okay, okay. Still a crazy cat lady. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. I don't know how to do that. Bullied. <laughs> Bullied. When I was a senior in high school, uh, there used to be this guy. Every time I walk into the class, he makes a sound of a bomb explosion. Or because he thought I was Indian, he comes and dances like this. <laughs> like I just laughed about it and I ignored him, but it got annoying. So I went and reported him. He got suspended. I, like even if it didn't bother me, if I was quiet about it, he will he will think it's okay to do it to other people, mm -hmm. and that was not okay. Would have done it to you over and over and over. Your word is unappreciated. Unappreciated. In my opinion, I would say I feel the most unappreciated when I do for someone and then in an instance where I assume that they would do the same for me, they wouldn't. So I feel unappreciated in that friendship or relationship or... Hmm. But you can't assume that everyone's gonna act like treat you the way you treat them. That's so true. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the next word for yeah. you. Hopeful. Hopeful. I'm a hopeful person. Something I can always have, even if like I feel stressed, I feel down. I always have hope that tomorrow will be better, or like the next year will be better. I always tell myself uh, nothing gets worse. Even if it's worse, I'll be like, if I can handle this, I can handle another things. Mm -hmm. And every time I tell myself everything will be okay. Even if I know it's not, I convince myself everything will be okay and I will come out of this successful. Hmm. That's a technique to master. Some of us don't have that. <laughs> it takes a lot. Okay, you're worried. Let's see. Helpless. I have to say helpless is like when you're stuck, you have no hope for tomorrow or mm -hmm. the next week. Um, you're just, you're down in the dumps. You're, like for me, I would say once a time I felt helpless. When I'm procrastinating and I got homework due at 12, no, 11.59 and I get home, <laughs> open that, I open my book and it says homework due and it's 11.30 and I'm helpless because I know I'm not going to finish. I just have them more often than I like to admit, but I mean, <clears throat> the next word for Farouz is inspired. When were you inspired? I was inspired this past weekend, the Women's March, whenever I heard <laughs> the speeches that were given by everyone, starting from Linda Sorsur, I don't know if I pronounced her last name right, to uh, Scarlett Johansson, Alicia Keys, America Ferreira, everybody who spoke, Angela Davis. 
I aspire to be, I want to be the kind of person who will be able to go out and give speeches like that so mm -hmm. people will be uh, inspired. inspired and empowered. Just, I can't wait. Hmm. I really, that's like my dream. That's, I, I get inspired when I hear speeches like that. Okay. Let me get you worried. Okay. <laughs> jealous. Jealous, whoa. <sighs> I've felt jealous many times in my life. So, um, example, when you see all your friends graduating from college and you're still stuck there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can um, relate to that. Jealous, jealous, like why can't that be me? But everything happens at its own time, so. So true. Even if you're jealous, just don't let that get in the way of your ultimate success. She's just preaching all the truths. <laughs> like, <ooh>. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask me. Alright. Money? Money. Yeah. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> When you feel money? No, like, uh, what do you feel about money? A lot of bad things happening in the world because of money. Because people don't have enough money, so... Or people have too much money, so they, they use that as a power to buy over things that others <coughs> need. I, I, it's really hard for me to explain, but... It's just, we either take money for granted, or we use it... We use it as a power. Hmm. And... If you don't know how to use money, it's just it, either it destroys you. So yeah, I always it say your head. it gets to your head, it's and I always say I choose hug over money. So every every time people ask me why did you study psychology, I say because I want to help people, and they say you can study something else and mm -hmm. give them the, the money, and I'm like, uh, but the money is not gonna be there for them emotionally, and I feel like I'd rather be there for you emotionally than just give hundred of the money, even though like. Financial problems are a lot worse, but I I can be there for you. I can give you as much as I can afford, but I think somebody else will come and give you money, but not a lot will come and help you emotionally and be there for you when you need them. Like someone to cry on, mm. someone to talk to. It's, yeah, that that's what I want to be and that's what I want to do. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I say hug over money. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's very interesting. I'm I'm really bad at explaining Drum things. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> okay. Your word is understanding. Understanding. I would say understanding for me is when you can place yourself in someone else's shoes and try and understand their situation as if it uh, as if it was your own like understanding not just listening and saying oh that sucks just listening understanding empathizing, empathizing. that's yeah, yeah. That, that's that's good mm -hmm. i hope it's good i guess well, let's find the next <laughs> word for you creative creative Whenever I hear the word creative, I see art, and I always thought thought art is therapy. So for a lot of people, mm. through art, whether it's movie or acting or music or drawing oh. or or video making or anything, I think it's therapeutic and it helps in a lot of ways. Mm. So that's for what's creative means for me. Art therapy. Art therapy. Okay, you're worried. Rejected. Oh, rejected. Hold on, I was looking for a confetti earlier. <laughs> okay. The so. time that I felt rejected is when I didn't get into the like the program in school that I wanted to. Rejection sucks, but it's I feel no matter what the situation is, even if you are rejected, like it's a learning experience, even though that's not what you asked me. But you no, know, it is, it is. That's what I want to hear. Like, when did you learn learning. from it too? I just, rejection's always a learning experience, no matter what it's in. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I'm gonna be like a typical cliche, and I say beauty, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Hmm. I so believe that and I think we're all beautiful in our ways. We always concentrate on uh, outer beauty that we can see but what makes a person beautiful is how what they stand for and who they mm -hmm. are and how they what spend they their time. Inside. Yeah, like the way you look inside, the way you are, your heart is what makes you beautiful. 
<clears throat> yeah, we all want to see someone who's pretty or like cute, who's handsome and be like, oh my god, that person's pretty. But getting to know them, they might not mm -hmm. have a good heart. They might be trash mm -hmm. inside. <laughs> exactly. So I always say, let's get to know a person before we judge them. And that's mm -hmm. why I always say, I don't have first impression of people because if I already have a preconceived idea of who mm -hmm. you are, that wouldn't give you a chance. So beauty is your heart. It's hmm. a good explanation of beauty, it's not like the like cliche. But your heart always stays dies. firm. Your word. Acceptance. Acceptance. When you're fully wanted. Like acceptance for me. <laughs> Don't want to get too emotional on you or not. It's... And long story short, um, I've never really been a confident individual and never really thought someone would truly accept me for me and my crazy antics um but it's when my husband you know we got together i felt like i was truly accepted by someone things that i never thought i would be accepted for things i was ashamed of or just would change about myself when you either if it's a school that has all the things you want in a school and you get accepted in the school you're like oh you know i'm so excited or if it's someone that you find that Loves the things that you hate about yourself. That's what I feel acceptance is. I accept you. No. <laughs> I accept that you accept me. <laughs> okay. Failure. Failure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like so my hard. Ethiopian side came out. That's like ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, Where do I begin? <laughs> all of my sides are Ethiopian. <laughs> I'm scared of failing, even though I know 100%. I know if your failures make you who you are at the end. Your success is measured by your failure because whenever you fail, how many times you fail makes you a strong individual. Like every time you fail and you wait, you get up and do you do best, you know, mm -hmm. you try hard. Then whenever you succeed, that success comes because you failed uh, so yep. hard and you learn from it. But if you never try, you never you get never to fail. And if you don't fail, you don't learn. And if you don't learn, you don't become successful. So that's hmm. that's it. <laughs> I think. I like your answers. I don't know if you're talking about mine. I like your I answers. I like your answers. Okay, you're next. Next. Petty. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, I sit my seat. I'm petty. Just for example, let's say I'm driving and then some mofo decides to get in front of me without putting on their blinker. My petty self, I'm gonna get in another lane, drive up real, real close. Just get in front of them, no blinker or anything. Then look at them in the rear view mirror like, yep, I just did that. That's petty for you. You I was so I do that on a daily basis. Oh my god. Even though I do. Okay, uh, happy. Oh, that makes happy. me think about my cat. <laughs> happy dance. You make me happy. Do you have a happy dance? Okay, what was <laughs> My happy dance is when food goes down my throat. Yeah. Okay, I will say this. Happiness is food. <laughs> <laughs> Lord blessed us with taste buds for a reason. <laughs> no, seriously. I think food makes me happy. I mean, my friends, they're like, you know, I love my friends and family, but food... <laughs> On another playing field. <laughs> that is my happiness. That's where happiness comes for me. But happiness is a state of being. It can be a choice. It can also be something you're given. How are you given happiness? Because you, sometimes you don't choose to not be happy. I'm pretty sure 100% of the people, like every single person in this planet, everybody want to be happy. But not all of us are given the, cho the chance to be happy. Because mm. there are a lot of people who are suffering from different mental health problems that they that are not given the chance to be happy mm -hmm. and so every them. yeah every time people say happiness is 100 percent a choice i say not really there are people who don't have that choice and that privilege and that and that opportunity hmm. so happiness is a state of being happiness is a mood and happiness can also happiness is also a choice but it depends on who it is for and what the situation is. Yep. Optimistic. Optimistic is, for me, knowing it will always end up correct or leveled out. Optimistic is always like, you know, hoping that, okay, maybe I failed this test, but now I know what tools I have to, you know, either improve on so I can, you know, pass the next test optimistically. Just learning to 
accept accept that I'm you know learn from it right i don't know I'm, i would I'm say horrible. it's hard to be optimistic so. so there are three of them i think we can both answer the last one okay okay yeah. that's good regret regret i i make a lot of rushed choices i'm not a very rational person mm, so I. I will say i wear my heart on my sleeve and Same i'm emotional i'm very emotional so for the most part my choices are made irrationally because i just i'm just that kind of person Hmm. So at the end when I wake up and come to my, my senses and I realize what I did is wrong and I regret it mm -hmm. But I tell myself not to be very regret, regretful and learn from it But <laughs> the more is that, that happening? Day. No, <laughs> that is not happening Nope, petty <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's funny>. okay. <laughs> You're right. This one is home Home? Yeah Home is where the heart is at. I know that sounds so cliche, but home is just where you feel most comfortable um, at. Even if it's not your actual home, where your bed is and your head's at. Home is just where you feel like your heart and soul is at ease. Where you, you can belong. Be where you belong. You can be anything that you want to be. You can be anything that you're not or that you are. You can just let everything come out freely. No no gates are there. Like the not you're accepted. Gates. Accepted. Yeah. Oh, yes, home. Oh. It, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be like a, 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 a physical a house. place. Yeah, it doesn't it have just to be. can be like a group of friends. Hmm. It can be, even be a state of mind. Home yeah. can be a state of mind. Seriously. Interesting. Okay, so this is the last one. Dun, dun, We're dun. both going to answer this one. <laughs> you want to read it together? Positive. positive. Okay. okay. Start. Positive. For me, just trying harder. If that makes That doesn't even make sense. Positive. <laughs> Does that make sense mm -hmm. to you? Trying harder. Yeah. Your environment and the people you hung out with and uh, earlier with your answer, home. It's positivity. It's just something that gives you a peace. Comfort. Yeah, comfort and a peace state of mind. Mm -hmm. That's positive for me. And I'm just rumbling because I'm really bad at explaining anything. I'm spreading horrible. good vibes. Yeah. That's what positive is. Yeah. Spreading I should have good vibes. <laughs> I love oh, I love you. I love you too, Farouz. We are positively showing each other love. How much you love each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all. This is Fatima once again. We have been friends since senior year high school. And I'm going to have her here. Six years ago? Six? Six. 2011. 2010, 2011. 2010, 2011. So yeah. Alright. Guys, this will be the end of the video hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something out of it tell us your story comment below and express yourself tell your story so others can learn about it mm -hmm. and I come back and watch more of my videos and subscribe and I'll see you guys very very soon Mwah.